Hey, what's up, Hacksplainers? I'm super excited to be back for you with another exciting episode. And today we're going to have a look at the GDPR Data Theft Challenge. And let me tell you what, this one is going to expose some sensitive data, some juicy data for all of us. And the challenge description says, you know what, steal someone else's personal data without using injection. And I want to show you how this is done. All right, so let's get up over here. Let's go to account. Let's log in. Let's say we're not yet a customer. We're going to email. I'll just say um, whatever, ASDF, ASDF.com, ASDF, ASDF. It doesn't really matter. We just need any new user. My middle name of, oh, it's actually my eldest sibling's middle name is whatever, Hugo. Let's go for that. Let's hit register down below here. And now we are locked in. No, we're not. We're logging in with my newly created user, ASDF at ASDF.com. And the password for this bad boy is stored right in here log in all right now we are here in the products overview and as you folks know banana juice is my favorite juice we're going to add that to the basket we see one item showing up over here i want to have a couple of banana juices let's make this a little bit more and i got three of them perfect check out i need a new address I live somewhere here. My mobile is this, my zip code. I'll just fire in something over here. And I gotta get the mobile number format straight. Okay, here we go, submit. We got a new address. We're selecting the address, we go to continue. We wanna have the rocket ship one day delivery over here. Continue with that. And we need a way to pay for it. So let's say my name is this, my number is that, uh, whatever, year 2080, oops, error is gone, submit, and we can now select the payment option. Click continue, click on place your order and pay. Perfect. All right, so what we see right now is we have placed an order and we can click on track order, which basically lets you know the state of your order. And if you look up here, there's a little tracking ID. You see that we've ordered banana juice and the total price is $6. Whatever, now let's jump into Burp. And if we look at get track order down below here, we see that we were requesting the track ID over here and we got a JSON response back. So let's look at that one. And interestingly, we got, uh, well, a little more data back. We got a payment ID, address ID, order ID, email, product, whatsoever. But looking at the email, it says that my email is asterisk sdf at asterisk sdf dot z asterisk m. And so why is that? You guys have watched me entering ASDF at ASDF.com. So it seems like all the vowels are missing. All the vowels are exchanged with the asterisk character over here. And if we go back to Juice Shop, we can go to Account, Privacy and Security, Request Data Export, click JSON, Request. Let's say we allow that request again and we do see uh, some data we do see that we have an order we ordered three pieces of banana juice total is 597 and then here you can see that my email is displayed correctly again it's asdf at asdf.com so what if we would try to get that data for another user. And let's remind ourselves that over here, the email addresses vowels 
uh, substitute it with an asterisk character. And if you've watched my previous videos, you should be aware that there is a user called admin at juice-sh.op. So what if we could create a user that looks similar to that admin user, but uses a different vowel? So let's try that. I go back over here, I log out, I click on login, create a new user, and I will remove that for now. I want to remind you that there is a user called admin at juice minus s h o p, but we cannot register that user because that is already existing and that is the admin user. But what if we go ahead and create a user called admin? Let's just try creating a user called admin, and I will use the same password as for the user before. Security question doesn't matter. My mother's maiden name is Julie, and I click on register. Perfect. Registration completed successfully. And we're already standing at the login page. So let's say admin at choose minus sh dot op and i'm going to log in and as you can see i am logged in as my admin user so what happens if i go to privacy and security go to request data export and click json over here and now we actually ask for a capture so that is qb6kf and click on request and you might have been following along that I was not ordering any product yet for a new user. And I still got data in here. So the question is, whose data is it? And it turns out that this is actually the admin's data. It still says admin in here, but this is actually the admin's data because the admin had already ordered something in the past and we with that got data from another user and that is definitely not cool that is sensitive data and that would be a gdpr violation all right i hope you folks liked this video make sure to subscribe in the top right corner check out all my other videos stay tuned thank you for watching